Hey, in this video, I want to give you a more detailed guide on essences and how you can effectively farm them. Credit goes to Conan the Librarian for creating this visual guide. What are essences? Essences are a form of currency that, depending on the tier, the base, and the name, always guarantees you one stat. For example, if you use a shrieking essence of greed on a helmet, you will always have the roll of 90 to 99 maximum life. Okay, let's talk about some things you should know before you start farming essences. The monster level that is required to get the highest version of essences is 68, so you can farm them in tier 1 maps. If you do not own the essence stash tab, you can sell 3 essences of the same kind, for example, essences of hatred to a vendor and get 1 essence of hatred back that is a tier higher. Essences can be corrupted by using Remnant of Corruption on a monster trapped by Essence before releasing it. Using the Remnant of Corruption will result in one of the following outcomes. Mobs are broken free with empowered stats. All contained Essences have their tier increased by 1. Example Screaming is upgraded to Shrieking. Note that the base Essence type won't change. This can't occur with deafening essences. A monster may gain one additional essence and tr or transform essence types into random ones from the next type group. Example of fear transformed to wrath. Note that this can also increase the tier of the essence if the original is at a lower tier than the minimum from the next tier. The essence of Hysteria, Insanity, Aura and Delirium can only be obtained by corrupting monsters with an essence of tier 5. Mets, Misery, Envy, Dread and Scorn. Another tip from me when you should use Corruption Remnants. Remnants of Corruption should only be used on Shrieking Essences or 3 Plus Essences. Essences won't make you feel free rich or anything, but they are a steady source of income where you know what you are getting. Another thing that I want to bring up before we get into the Atlas theory is that you can easily combine essence farming with other league mechanics that you enjoy. Because of this, I will not go into detail on what other league mechanics you should take. I think you should farm what you enjoy, not ma what makes you the most currency per hour. This atlas tree will only show essence nodes and the rest is up to you. Okay, let's come to the atlas tree. The first node that I would take is prolific essence. Your maps contain an additional essence, pretty self-explanatory. The next big atlas node is crystal lattice. Imprisoned monsters in your maps have 15% chance to have three additional essences, which is nice. The next one would be Crystal Resonance. Monsters imprisoned by a Shrieking Essence in your maps will be duplicated when released. Corrupting imprisoned monsters in your maps cannot release them. The last one would be Amplified Energies. Essences found in your maps are a tier higher. Okay. That sums up the theory part of the video. I will now show you some gameplay footage and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.
Don't worry, little bees. We are friends now. You go, little beast! Away! We will be best friends, beast, you until we slaughter you! <laughs> you will be a survivor, or you will be When I'm ready, and not before. Exalted orb. An exhilarating sensation of victory. An exhilarating hunt, Exile. Now, it is time for Einar to go to Einar business. <laughs> <laughs>